Uh, this is, is this matchup canon right here? I mean, this is, uh, you know, back in Brawl, the popular theory was that my man Snake liked him from Samus. I don't know if he likes big power suit Samus, but I just see this, this is different. Hey, come on, man. You think my man doesn't? My man's a Metal Gear. That's true. Right. That's true. He deals with some mechanical stuff on a day. You're Absolute. right. You're right. You're right. Okay. All right, so let's see, man. Quick with the slicer here. We're off to the chase. I love that bomb placement. Going high. Uh oh. Good roll. Not going to get any pressure here, but here comes Quick. Now, this matchup could get kind of weird here for Snake Man because on stage, you know, both these two characters combo each other very well. We see what Samus can do at very low percent. She can go for like dash attack, up air, dash attack, quarter. We we know it. But it's off stage where I think Snake can sometimes struggle because, you know, super missile, charge shot, she can do things like fall off, yep. quarter. And there, I mean, hell, even Nair, the, the hitbox that Nair is, is just enough to make Snake's life hell. Yeah. Goodness oh, gracious. Good are the back air right into the stage. Closing out that first stock, yes. Yeah. And the thing about it, it's going to be kind of hard for Snake here in this kind of situation, and you're going to be a neutral. Mm -hmm. Again, Snake is traditionally a really trap-based character. Uh, so a lot of times, donors can kind of put you in a funk, right? Yes. They're going to mess up that situation for you because they're able to kind of throw out something that can be active faster and push you out of your comfort zone, kind of ruin up your nade placement and go from there. And that's kind of what you're seeing right here. It kind of makes you question, is every trap-based character a good zoner? You know what I'm saying? Like, there has to be some sort of small differences between both the two places. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I think you're seeing it clear as day here. Yeah. I mean, often uh, a zoning character is more so about stuff like quick projectiles that you can get to people in time. It's about, oh, that movement is crisp. Yeah, man, it's moving. All right. Wait a minute. Oh, is he going to be it? Okay, that was smart. I thought he was actually going to try to duck under it. I don't know if that's a risk he should keep taking. You don't want to condition yourself to keep trying to duck under the charge shot. Yeah. Because you're not going to be able to duck underneath the big one. Okay. Nice stuff. Okay, goes up to C4. Oh. The parry off yeah. of the Zare. The parry didn't parry the other hit, though. Oh, goes for the jump. A little too late on the reaction. It's a problem. They're on the oh. ledge. I can get hit. Runs all the way across the stage. Yeah, you got to stop. You got to stop ducking, man. Okay, wow, yeah, he see he's getting he's getting zoned here. See, th this is the difference, ladies and gentlemen, between like the trap based play style and the zoner. You, of course, you could be a good trap based character, but you got to figure out how to get conversions off your traps. Right. The zoners they don't mind not approaching. No, absolutely, and so I love this. I love the Nikita coming out to play here, and the damage. And now oh he's got to pull him in, and of course we're gonna have that double kill there. We're going to the last stop. And Samus is a, is a heavy gal too, so she doesn't mind a couple of these trading situations, man. Yep. Okay. He reverse off the platform here. The, oh my goodness! And then look at look at the low percent kung fu man. This is what I was talking about, man. You'll see like the charge cancel. It's a short hop forwarder twice in a row, man. Just sure. just because, yeah. just because it's Saturday and she can. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. So a lot of times what you'll see for snakes, like traditionally they'll put up the initial bomb as a trap, and then they'll put a secondary bomb out there that they can cook in time, so they can utilize it as a zone tool. Talk to him, man. We haven't really seen it all too much from Slicer, and that's really why he's been having a lot of trouble dealing with the zoning tools. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Just standing in one spot. Doesn't mind it. Okay. Ducks under the super missile. That was smart. Yeah. See, I love those ducks, so he's not dealing with a low shield when he has to uh, potentially be a mix-up of when that charge shot's coming. Now, see, what I would what I would do here in this matchup, and, and this is not to say that he's not playing well, but I would put the C4 on the left or right side of the stage because that seems to be where uh, Quick is retreating to just because of the zoning-based play style, you know? Yep, on this platform for you so you can get the, all that coverage. Yes, yeah. absolutely. But he's putting it towards center stage, which is not a bad thing, but versus Samus, she's not going to come towards center stage if she doesn't need to. Yeah. He hasn't been really oh, my gosh, point blank. Yes. Yes. Now, see, my roommate back at home, uh, my boy Alex, he thinks that this matchup is if not even Samus wins it. But then when I asked MVD on Twitter, MVD was like, I think it's even at, at, at best. It, it just, it's one of those matches where it just depends on how it's played. Kind of like um, kind of like how people feel about Snake versus Ness. Remember we watched MVD play versus Austin that first time, and it was like, well, if one side absorbs the, uh, the explosions, then that side wins. But if Ness doesn't do any of that, then Ness is just going to get comboed and Nikita to right. oblivion. So it just really depends on the player sometimes yeah. in, uh, these, in this These case. kind of matchups are close enough to the point where it's going to be nuanced. It's going to be a question of how knowledgeable is the other player mm -hmm. about everything. So. That's right. There's definitely a rabbit hole to be jumped into. Absolutely. In this, in this absolutely. Matchup. It's not a uh, just, okay, this character just gets blasted and I can't do anything. You know? Definitely some complexities involved with the matchup. That's right. Anyways, guys, hope you guys have been enjoying yourselves thus far. We're about to go into this end game two. Slicer versus Quick. Going on, of course. Battlefield. Right.
We got some platforms here, man. Uh, Samus can uh, can get some pretty funky combos here, man. She can get like ladders off the top first to some of these platforms. Um, so we'll, we'll see. Let's see what we can get. Oh, good weight. I love that. Using that bomb for himself. Mm -hmm. Another thing that we're not seeing either here from uh, from Quick is that when uh, Slicer does decide to get in a little uh, up close and personal, because Snake can fight at, at low percent. You know, even though he is a, a trap-based character, we've seen it from Ally. You know, this character gets his hands on you and starts reading which way you're going. You're going to eat a lot of percent. But, oh, wait. Okay, I thought he was going to uh, explode the C4. But what we see a lot from Sam is that we'll see, like, up special. Items. There it is. The up special up close. Don't whiff anything because you're going to eat the up special. Oh, absolutely. And so, like, even though Snake's traditionally a trap character, one of the things, of course, is he he's still got that CQC, man. Very, really true to the game where he kind of wants to cage you up, and then what are you going to do against a snake, yeah, right? That's fair. And that's kind of the idea behind the character. You put all these bombs out there, uh, you put all these, uh, you put the nades out, you put the C4s out, and you have to deal with that, plus him with a lot of hitboxes that, you know, he just does outright a ton of damage or has a lot of setups and damage that's of course, right. uh, like, down throw. Now, see, just to rewind there just a moment ago, we've seen him. See, this, this is this is how good up special out of shield is. Wow! Wow, <laughs> goddamn. See, up special, up special out of shield is so, is so good for Samus. Yes, we I know the chat saw that. Yeah, that, oh, that was... <laughs> oh, man, the delay. He just... <laughs> That looked like a Looney Tune explosion. <laughs> you know when they look at the screen one minute? Oh, no. <laughs> they say that one-liner? That's right, man. That was some Team Rocket blasting off again. Oh, right absolutely. There. Oh, first hit in there, up tilt. Oh, but facing the wrong way. And then the ledge play right here from Slicer has been very good, but because Samus has to up special out of shield, Ooh, it's complete. really hard. Up tilt. Yeah, it's really hard for him to go for the uh, some of these ledge options here. Yeah. Oh, oh get that forward out of here. Shot. And good Nair. Okay, that's supposed to be a tech chase he situation. Is reading all these defensive options. Damn, you are uh, deleted. the heck? Yeah, he is trying to win right now. He ain't playing games no more. Wow, the B reverse is off the platform. The dash attack. Okay, I love this. Being aggressive here is this big. Please. Oh, save oh. the jump. What? Okay. Oh, wait. I love that. Oh. Lulled him. He lulled him into sleep. And he then, thought he had won the game. He thought it was over. He thought he already used his double jump. Mm -hmm. And he sat back. Wow, what Nikita, the Nikita in the neutral? Okay. Okay, we get we getting overzealous here. Yeah. Uh oh, there's another up. up up special okay. grab. I, I like that throw. man. He can't bait him off the ledge with up smash because he has to respect the tether grab. Yeah. Okay, Slicer is still playing pretty safe here for the most part. Air dodge oh, in pivot catch. grab. Yep, of course the classic jab one into pivot grab. Samus has always loved using that because they're you know always used to their jabs not actually working. That's right. No oh, way. Shield damage. Okay. Expecting the grenade, staying up here in the platform. Yeah, but the problem is he's not cooking these nades, so and Quick recognizes that, so that's why he's not really afraid of being hit and you know his little damage being tacked on. Oh! Okay, oh, that's good shield. Yeah, you gotta cook him a little bit. That way they explode before Samus gets a chance to catch him and throw him back. Right. Hey, oh no. Oh, oh wait, wait a minute. minute. Hold on, Bam. I'm surprised he didn't just wait there. Okay, now he, ha he has to stay over here. Now we talked about the placement of the C4s on the platform. Oh, yeah, you got on the platform. <laughs> on the platform. Oh, sir. man, yeah, and you see him shake his head. He just, man, he just did not want to go out like that. That was very unfortunate because he did have a checkmate situation for himself. He had him on the platform with That's the right. Zare, but he elected to go ahead with another Zare. He should have went for going, the yes. He had a charge shot. Mm -hmm. He had the charge shot shot to close it out, but, man. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, man. Absolutely. All right, man. The studies have shown. It's, it's in the stats, man. You don't take the shots you miss. The studies have shown. That's right. Years of research, man. Absolutely. All right. Moving to uh, the next game here now. Wow. I didn't expect this one to be um, that close. But, like I said, you know, it's a, it's a, um, it's a battle of <coughs> the zoner versus the trap-based character. Yep. What situations are we going to set up to force the zoner in to make an aggressive option? Or are my projectiles, because I am a zoner, are they strong enough to pierce, um, you know, your, your traps? And so, like, towards the end of the game, we've seen that from Quick start to come out. But then, you know, he just lost track of the C4s, and Slicer was kind of able to have his way with them. Yeah. Oh, my. Okay, look at him getting a little aggressive, though. Okay? That, that's what you do at low percents here with Samus. Yeah. So, good shot there. Going to hit him on the side. Over those guys stage, of course. Snake gonna do in the air. Okay. Easy catch. I like the step back. 
Not going to kill just yet, but that's going to allow him a charge shot to put him in a beautiful Ooh. situation. He got a little hungry there with that uh, with Nair. I understand that you can get kind of Nair happy with Snake, especially as you uh, start to land awkwardly. It's, it, it always seems like the, the best option to toss out. But, yep. you know, characters like Samus who know how to read that or who, who can punish you, uh, you know, obviously staying a, a good enough distance away from you. You really have to watch good yourself. Down, good there. Force him to go to the recovery. Wait a minute. Face snaps the ledge once more. Yeah. Tries to go for the tilt. The, the runaway. I love it. Zoning. Every time. Step back. Using all that stage. He said, I don't bust back, sir, because I shoot first. Okay? You're losing. Oh, oh, my gosh. And yes. Take all that. Welcome. All right. Okay, but again, the platform pressure with the Zare, we seen it in the last game, but you know, he just wasn't quite able to execute properly off of it. Obviously not looking to make the same mistake twice. Yep, absolutely. Okay, wow. Sit back. Okay, good Nair's gonna hit him off the side. We need to see more Nair, bam. A lot of some stage control again, another one. Another one. Okay, dash attack. You gotta watch it. If you overextend a dash attack, he's gonna turn around, go for uh, pivot super missile. Or he's yeah. gonna go for a, a charge shot. Slice obviously playing a little bit more safe right here. Yeah. Respecting a grenade, oh, but not shot. respecting the charge shot, bam. See, so one of the main things too, when you're gonna have this situation, if you are a zoner or a trap character, a lot of times people, when they play these kind of characters, oh my gosh, the chase! And that's what I need to see. Because despite you are a zoner, despite you are a trap character, once you land a hit, you have to follow through. Mm -hmm. You don't just sit back and just take tick cat damage. That's an opener for you to get more conversions, and that's what we saw there from Quick, and he is moving right now. Bam, he's about to take a trivia line zone! Get That's kicked. what I'm talking about. Get That's kicked. what I'm talking about, Bam. I said we needed to see more in there. What I was really worried about in this match was the fact that a low